Y254. Imagine. to you and thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and you are watching the Power Talk Show. Now this evening I want us to have a very important conversation because I think this um, impacts every single one of us. What does it take to maintain adult friendships? Because we know when you're friends as kids, it's so easy to maintain it because you're in school together, you share the same activities, but when you're an adult and you have separate lives, how do you maintain your friendships? How do you ensure that you keep in touch and you constantly check on your friends? And I'm being joined by experts who will give us more information on how we can maintain adult relationships. Joining me is Beryl Omondi, who's an entrepreneur. Karibu Beryl. Asante. It's a pleasure to have you here. Ah, it's a pleasure too. Yeah. And yeah. right next to Barry, we have mm -hmm. Anthony Njenga, yes. who is not a guest here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's yes. a counseling psychologist and a life coach as well. Karibu tena, Anthony. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah. And it's so wonderful to have you for the first time this year. This year, yes. Back again, mm -hmm. yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, normally <laughs> we talk about relationships mm -hmm. and everything, yes. but we've never truly focused on friendships. Mm -hmm. And that is a very important aspect of mm -hmm. each one of us. We can not live by ourselves so how do we maintain our friendships particularly when we have busy schedules our lives are going on and we cannot constantly be in the same environments I want to get some information from you I want to hear how you personally maintain your your friendships with your friends maybe if work a long distance you have you live worlds apart your schedules are like Mnakutana months later mm -hmm. how do you maintain those friendships how do you ensure that you keep in touch with your friends and across social media platforms zetu on Facebook, Instagram na Twitter we have made a post niambie wona maintainaje kama uko na swali ya you have a friend you've been estranged and you're wondering how can you maintain that or rekindle the friendship ask us and we will sample the comments and everything as we progress with the conversation so i think maybe we should just start with the basics yeah. and define friendship because mm -hmm. right now we want to categorize everything acquaintance colleague so who is a friend anthony could you tell us from your perspective uh for me i think the best way to define our friend is, is a quote by oprah win or oh, is it oprah winfrey yes uh what she says is a uh, lot of people want to ride with you mm -hmm. in a limo but what you what you want if someone will take a bus with you when the limo breaks down. Mm, that's good. Yes. That's powerful. That's my definition of friendship. Yeah. Yes. I <laughs> like that because you know that really sums up everything because yes. this is someone who will be with you through whatever yes. and they will go through life with you because mm. they're genuinely your friend. They mm -hmm. genuinely want to to be in your life. It's not about sure. the good part only. Yes, it's, it's not about the, the celebration yes. and the money or yes. the success. It's yes. also about when you're depressed, yes. when you have loss. Yes. Yes. That's very powerful. I yes. love that. Yeah, thank you. Beryl, thank you. who yeah. would you define as, who would you consider your friend? I think someone who can pick my call at one and when they feel that my voice is not okay, the question is, uko wapi? Where are you at? That's a friend. And I think I, I think I can say I have one or two or three. I have sisters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That when they hear the voices, I want someone that ukiskia sauti, sauti ya leo si mzuri, na kupigia Sheryl, and the voice is not the Sheryl I know. The only question I ask is, where are you? And I'll pull up. Yeah. That is friendship for me. That mm. is friendship. Because yeah, they yeah. know you, yeah. and mm. they are there for you regardless. Yeah. And I love because your definitions are very good. They're yes. very clear. Mm. And it really trickles down to who's genuine yes. and who isn't. Yes. Because so many people are there with you when you're successful, when you're happy, when yeah. you're celebrating. Mm. But when you're really down, when maybe you even need to call someone to bail you out, mm. send some money, yeah. you know, someone who will come through that is considered a friend. Mm. So how do we form friendships? Because, you know, as kids, it was so easy. You meet in the playroom, in the classroom, you share something in common, and that's it. That's mm. your friends. Mm. But as adults, 
how do we form friendships Anthony yeah. how do you make friends as an adult uh, let me use a good theory on uh, how to form friendships eh? okay. and I'll use is it a theory or uh, in mathematics <laughs> formula. A formula. yes so the formula <laughs> I'll use is uh, P plus a P plus C plus V mm -hmm. P means positivity when I say positivity, it means uh, we all need someone who can make us feel good, someone who can make us smile, someone who can be empath empath empathetic, not sympathetic. Yeah. You know, someone who can just give us that good, positive vibe mm -hmm. that we need. Yeah. And for the C is the consistency. We need someone who is consistent with us, someone who checks up, checks up on, on us. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, like two months later, only because I'm like a side dizzy. At in Minnesota, na na maybe na na wo kama India ke na filo ni rafikiya. When rafikiya ke ni text Cheryl ni mo. Two months later or three months later. Hi Cheryl, how are you? Ako umambie uko sawa. Lakini the intention is not just to check up check on you a June and deleaje, but the intention is to just maybe borrow you. When I say ni ni kope sha one thousand na i economy itoke wapi. Yeah. So that is consistency. Uh, yeah. That one is vulnerability. Once you say you want to build a friendship or once you want to have friends, mm -hmm. you have to be vulnerable to that friend of yours. Mm -hmm. And not to all friends, but to some friends. And one thing you need to know even before I talk about vulnerability, we need at least, we taji marafiki wengi, just two, three or even one that is genuine. When I say vulnerability, I mean someone you can be open to about how you feel. Someone you can let in into your life. Aone vinye kenye unapitia, you know? Untu mwenye hauta ogopa kutrust. Someone you will trust easily, and I'm saying it's not easy to just, you know, say I'll 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 be I'll be trust I'll be open to this friend of of mine. Because mm -hmm. babu kuna marafiki utakuwa unabiliyo trust lakini they don't deserve your trust. Ama okay. trust yao inakuwa broken. Yeah. So that formula: positivity, consistency, okay. and vulnerability. Yeah. And you see, that's very straightforward because mm. if you, you know, you always start with the vibes. Yes. To not say good vibes. Yes. Mm. Come talk on a good vibes. You you know, basis yes. ya unanza yes. kona okay mm. to neza onge. Yes. Yeah. And then consistency because yes. they build on the initial exactly. connection that you had. Yes. Also vulnerability because yes. that also comes in later on when yes. you can be able to share. Mm. Eh, na go through something. Yes. Ama eh mentally yeah. siko sawa. Mm. So I need someone to talk to or yeah. someone who's going to be there for you. Yes. So that's a very good. Formula, and I think everyone should apply that. Yes, because you know enough. I could criteria. Kwangalia, is this someone I can be friends uh, yes, with long term so or not? Yeah. yeah. Mm. And you know, squeeze it. Tunase manga. Tuna categorize. Kama mm. ni acquaintance ni acquaintance. Kama mm. ni colleague ni colleague. Kama mm. ni sijui mtu wa job ni hivyo. <laughs> Beryl, yeah. what do you think is the value of that? Tunaje kwanza si madem tuna kwanga with. When we grow up, mm -hmm. ama when we're in high school, ni tuna kwanza large friend friend groups. Mm. Sure, sure. But then the older you get. Do you see a value in categorizing people as kupenye wanafit kwa maisha ako? Unasema huyu ni acquaintance because mm. tunajona hivi na hivi. Mm. Do you see a value in that? A hundred percent. A hundred. Because I feel like, um, mostly I think I've also struggled with it at, um, at some point. Uh, kweka, everybody in the same box. You know, it's something that we learn on a daily basis. And whatever you said, we have consistency, we have vulnerability. And I feel like if I'm looking back uh, into myself, I'm like, I have friends, but I don't have friends that I'm too much vulnerable to. Kunole Rafik in Tapigia, and I'm sure I can speak anything and they won't be judged. Mm. But now there's also another friend that you can call and you're like, Ay, Apana. Remember, there's, there's this quote that goes around that your f your best friend is someone else's best friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I feel like in the circle of uh, the girl child, mm -hmm. whatever friendship we have, I don't know if it affects the boy child, I've never had that conversation. Mm. I feel that is something that may affect it because your friend is someone else's best friend. So in building up the friendship, it is not easy. It yeah. is not easy because yeah. you can find we're in a gang of five girls, but between the five girls, I have one that I trust most. Mm. So it is still friendship, but I don't know what Anthony can call it because it is still yeah. friendship, 
we are there for each other. Mm. They can pull up at any time. But mm. I'm not free to speak to them about whatever I'm going through. Mm. Mm. Not at Some all. things. Mm. Yeah. And I think what you're saying is what people have been sharing yeah. about. They have friends for specific things. Kuna beshte unamwende na issues ako za mental health. Kuna mungina relationships. Kuna mungina maybe wa financial yes. issues. Yes. <laughs> so Anthony, how mm -hmm. would you categorize that? I'm at the way you've said, we shouldn't have, it's not, you, you don't need to have so many friends. Mm. So if you have like one friend, okay. Uyu moza, ndio, like, okay, for men, because yes. you know she's given the perspective of ladies. Yes. For men, yes. is that one friend everything? Well, I, I think for men we are not complicated. We <laughs> 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 are very simple eh? mm. and straightforward. Eh? Mm. Uh, I, think, I think for men, um, one thing I'd say for a fact is, uh, most men have very few friends. And those few friends are the friends, say like two or three, na wana kujenga in a certain way. Remember, uh, men most of the time want solutions. They don't want stories. Yeah. When a man comes to a fellow man, or I go to a fellow man and I tell them, this and this is what I'm going through. I don't have finances. My job is not really working out. You know, this and that family. What I expect this man to tell me is a solution, and which is so bad. Eh? Because yeah. for us, we expect you to give us solutions. And like you ladies, unaweza open up na wambiwe this and this is how to do it. Mm. So I feel for men, nikisa matu kom complicated ni, we, we, we have friends, mm -hmm. but uh, most of the time, let me use it in what is currently happening. Eh? Mm -hmm. We find friendship or a friend in, w in, in someone or something that can make us feel safe. And there are some men, when I say something, uh, which is so sad, there are some men who will find friendship in alcohol. Like they will call, yeah. akiona tui club, that is my friend. Akiona tui drug, this is my friend. Because of the society we are living in, yeah. that a man should not be able to, to, to open up. Mwaname ya nafaa kaengumu na ishu zake. Mwaname ya fai kulia, mwaname ya fai kukapitia. Mm. Sasa, how do you expect a man who has been told that by the society, na amereziwa na culture enye na sema mwaname ni kukaa ngumu, how do you expect this man to come to somebody else and open up? Yeah. Actually, we have in my profession as a counselor, very few men come to therapy, very few. And those who come, they're either pushed. And when you get those who come voluntarily, just 2% two or 3%. Or mm. And even when you come to they need to build something. When I tell you, you can in a certain, certain way. Yeah. But, but when you talk about friendship in men, I feel like uh, reality, what is currently happening, mm -hmm. most men rarely go to their fellow men to tell them what is really happening. Because yeah. of the shame that when I go tell my, my fellow man that bibi yangu na nichapa, so that stigma that a man should not be able to open up about what they're really going through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, which is so and sad. I, I, it's very sad. Mm. I like the way you've brought up another aspect of sometimes the friendship is not even someone. Yes. It's something. Something. Yeah. yeah. So they seek other alternatives. Yes. So we'll touch on that as we progress. Okay. So maybe to Rudy how okay. do we how do we term that? Because now clearly women are a bit different. Yes. Women usually tend to have someone for something Thing like yes. a, a, a mm. specific friend for a specific situation. Mm. So how is that termed? How do you categorize that kind of friendship? Well, uh, would I put it in a category? But I feel like for, for such a situation, mm. it just comes down to someone you trust because you can't trust every friend. Yeah. And for you ladies, I'm a gang of friends, come at our turn of mm. or 10, but there is that one or two friend that unajua ni kendo kwa uyo and this kind of way. You know, of course, you cannot tell your friend everything. And that's why they yeah. are therapists, manze. Eh? True. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot just go and say, uyo rafiki yangu moja, uyo ni relationship. Uh -huh. Uyo ni pesa. Uh -huh. Na hini sasa, sisi kama professionals, mata katu wa saidi <laughs> yagi. We are here to help you and support you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not only your friends that can help you. Okay. I'm not saying you it's bad to talk to them. The yeah? truth is, sometimes we need professional help. Yes. People never want to admit the yes. fact that they probably need a therapist. Yeah. Yes. Because you can see to your friend the life of the guy is such a do. Yeah. And they yeah. won't give you a solution. They <laughs> won't help you. <laughs> but when you go to a professional therapist that mm. are now this is hata kupea solution but out of nikuliza sasa kama ni relationship, what do you think you can do? I, I think uh, this and this is what to do. Okay. Therapist akwambia now, this is the best solution. Mm -hmm. How about you do this and that? Yeah. Do you think it will work? Because for us, we don't so offer solution. What we offer is we guide you to the right solution. So at times, let's not also focus or picture this whole friendship thing that when I have an issue, the only person I can go to is a friend. friend. Yeah. Yes, you can go to that friend if you really trust them and, you and, you, and you're sure that you can confide in them mm -hmm. with whatever that you're going through. But also, it's important to tell even those who are watching that it's okay to go for counseling. Yes. But, but <laughs> I think, I think they, they, yeah. there's a problem mm -hmm. that uh, 
uh, it comes with therapy. Mm -hmm. And I feel like speaking from um, maybe some of the discussions I've had. Unambia mtu, nipo kwenda kwa therapy, atakuliza ni how much. I think the financial gap mm. that is there is okay. something that is creating. Because okay, may I feel free talking to someone about my issues yeah. into Hanijui. Mm. Because one thing I know, if I come to Anthony mm -hmm. and he doesn't know me, he won't judge me. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing I know. Mm -hmm. But yeah. now the problem is, how do I get to Anthony? And then, where are these therapy places? Does it matter where are mm -hmm. you guys located? Mm -hmm. You see, atuna ile information. Yeah. There's no enough information out there that mm -hmm. when you need therapy, you can access it at this place. Yeah. That when you need, when you need to talk to someone, you can call this number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is, that is a sti that is still a gap, Anthony. That mm -hmm. is still a gap. It's not like we don't feel like sharing it to the mm -hmm. therapist, but we feel like the financial gap. And then where can we get you guys? Now is the I, problem. I like what you have just said. Yeah. This is a conversation, right? Yeah. I'm not trying to justify anything, but okay. I'm, I'm, I want to. I don't know what she has said. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. It's true that uh, in our profession, unapata kuna that much information, but the information is there. The problem is mm -hmm. people don't want to step up to get that. Kuangalia, kufanya research. Yeah. Wanataka, every, nikiwa na issue, mm -hmm. niende kwa therapist, ikuwe pro bono. But one thing that is very important, and this I'll say even to the people who are watching, mm -hmm. it's very important to invest on your mental health. True. And true. investing on your mental health doesn't mean just go into a therapist. Mm -hmm. But the same way, ukiwa mgonjwa malaria utakimbia hospitali upimwe mm -hmm. na ukuwe sawa the same way ukichoka utaenda massage mm -hmm. the same way ukifeel ukai vizuri kucha zikai vizuri utaenda spa mm -hmm. yeah. the same same way your mental aesthetic you affected unaenda kwa therapist to. so mm -hmm. you have to invest as much as uh, the fee comes in mm -hmm. of course it's not a, it's not cheap but mm -hmm. there are places you can get uh, free counseling yeah. they are there are there alternatives of because kuna hiyo, kuna mm -hmm. private sector. Yes. When you, you know they deal with people yes. who are executive. Yes. But then, is there an alternative for the common monanchi? Tuseme mwanafunzi wa yes. university, a comrade. Ziko, kama yeah. I know Thika level 5, uh, they offer counseling, that is 500, Bob. Mm. That is affordable. Mm. Yeah. You, know, yeah, it is. The, you know, people expect pro bono. I, th I think, is it African mindset? That therapy is free. <laughs> you know, it's also because the, the industry yeah. is also fairly new and it's yeah. being embraced True. recently. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. But then I also want to, to find out, because mm. she's mentioned something that I think all of us mm. can agree on. Mm. Yeah. It's always easier to talk to a stranger. Yeah. You mm. feel more comfortable yeah. sharing your issues with a stranger. Yes. Why is that the case? Uh, I feel like the reason why someone would feel safe to talk to a stranger, the first mm. thing when I'm a hakujui. And as I can be a joan, I do at the end of the day at Okini. Nikama Sai, Sherry, there, Okina town, Wanguke, Utegwe. Wim to make a Kalea, Vinay, and Gukam, Diana, ten aquil. Probably not. Yeah. So the same, same thing with therapy. When I have an issue uh, when, uh, with, a, with a friend, when I have a, when I have an issue in the Kora, Fikiangu, mm. Imweleze, about what I'm going through, and I see me doing maybe, I'm an important civil, Fikin stranger. Mm. Atani judge, and he do. Yeah, so yeah. I feel like uh, it all depends, or it all goes down to. Now, this is a stranger, at the end of the day, I'm Juani, Akujui, I'm Jai Onana. Uh, but now, talking of that, mm -hmm. the problem is, people don't know how to really, how to how to, to go, like, attend kwa, kwa stranger. Yeah. Na pata watu wengi, wanaenda kwa mtu wanajua. Na wewe mtu wanajua, akimwambia leo, hivi na hivi, kesho taisikia kwa tini. Mali, ya. Because watu wanajua. And you see, that's another thing that makes people <laughs> afraid yeah. of sharing their issues. Mtu anaweza kuwa na deal na so much, maybe hata anapigwa na kuwa physically mm -hmm. abused, but because of the shame and the stigma that's associated with all that, mm -hmm. anogopa. So, how do you even you know sani easier sasa kwenda kwa stranger in that mm -hmm. case? Yeah. And I want to find out sasa from from Beryl because yeah. unajua ladies ndo sasa ndogo kuna hiyo impression ya. Ndogo mko complex. Hiyo mlifanya Adam akule tuni. Ndogo complex. We are good at specifics. There's this concept of ati, ati kuna watu ni manyoka. Manyoks. Manyoks. Ati, ati kuna watu ni ladies. <laughs> ladies. <laughs> so, I want to find out. Because yeah. I feel like, kila mtu wana kwanganda that kawa one experience. Yeah. Enye rafiki ya mekupiga character development. True. Mm. Could you maybe tell us one instance where you realized from this moment on, nafani kuena, kuna criteria, ndo ukue rafiki yangu. <laughs> <laughs> to refer to choose. Mm. I think, um, if there's a point I knew I had, I never had friends. Uh, so basically sharing into my personal life, I'm a mom. So I, at one point I got pregnant and I uh, home. That's when I knew I never had friends. Like my phone in the ring, I know ni mom. 
ama my phone ingeri ni ingelikuwa tunalia di masa plan nakwambia ni nani anapiga because i feel like uh ile ubeshte i came to realize it was all in the fun mm -hmm. tunaenda form eh, kuna shere mali tunapanga kuna mtu anafaenda tembele mali tunaenda but that deepness ile connection haikuwa mm -hmm. because you're like what are these people that i used to talk to what are these people that eh hey, mambo friday mifika when is the bill mambo tunafanya the weekend they are nowhere. Mm -hmm. So I feel like me, uh, that is the point in life where I realize. Lazimu kiwa beshte angu. Mimi wiki usipo ni pigia na kulizora fiki lishama. Mr. Kikujwa. Because to, we place some people where they are not even placed in our lives. True. Mm -hmm. Tunakueka like I say, oh, no, Cheryl is my friend. Wiki meisha, muzi mechapa. Niki kutex. Na na unanga you online 24-7, uko online, una post. You... We are there in TikTok, we are there in Instagram, you are on my WhatsApp status, and you're not responding. So me to me, I say, uh, place illifika in life is that time. Yeah. And I came to realize, you're not communicating, we're not friends. Yeah. You're just somebody I know. Mm, mm. Yeah. Mm. So even if there's need for help, I'll help you just as somebody I know, yeah. but not as a friend. Mm. Yeah. I think that is where most of us make. We don't even yeah. know where to put it. No, no, so I feel like they always say, say she and do not your true friend. Mm. And in that moment, it was unfortunate that it was, you needed friends. Mm. You know, when you're a lady and you're expectant, yeah. you, you need a you group of girls to yeah. be there with you. So it was so unfortunate. You really kwa kichapo, sasa lesson ya kukwambia, eh, sherehe kila sayi manishi, sisi ni ma, ni ma beshte. But then I wonder, Anthony, mm, mm. why is there, why is there like, you, you friendship enye, kwa raha ndio iko. Kwa shida ndio sasa mtu wako like, eh, yo, no. I don't know who you are. <laughs> mm. Why is that? Like, is it human nature? Is it psychological? What, you inatokea wapi? Well, uh, mali natokea ni, ina depend na mtu pia. You know, mm. our personalities differ. Mm. Uh, our characters, based on how we were brought up, also differ. Okay. Uh, what we believe in our values also differ. So that kind of person mwenye alikuanga mkiendanga hizi maform, mm. lakini kifika wakati wewe unaitaji really akwe hapo, anakuhepa, then you don't blame yourself. Now the problem is most people take fault or take wanachu, wanakua, wana feel ni kama haonde walikosea. They feel mm. guilty for doing that. I feel like the problem. The problem, but they're not the problem. The problem is that person. Na kama aliamua kuenda, it's okay. You know, in this life, uh, we need to embrace when friends leave. It's okay. Yeah, imanishi ju rafiki ya meenda, utawai pata rafiki mwingine. Sindio. Yeah, so you need to embrace. Akisha enda kama mekuwacha wakati ukona shida hapo, sasa nunajua wanga enyewe mungu alikuwa nataka uyo mtu. You, you know, <laughs> watu wakona tu uh, a way of, you know, and, and you can't judge them mm -hmm. because that is who they are. Kama even do wame choose kukua, mm -hmm. then that's for them. But you don't take, usianze kujiblame, use mekuwa ni mimi ndo ni kona shida mbona nili kuwa in this situation yenye niko in. For example, in a case, why did I have to get pregnant? Why did they leave because I'm pregnant? You don't blame yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, don't look at them. Look at you. Kuna kitu inaitua locus of evaluation. In uh, person-centered theory, mm -hmm. there's something called locus of evaluation. It's a, it's a technique used. And in it, kuna kitu inaitua intrinsic na extrinsic, which is the internal, which is intrinsic, and external, which is uh, extrinsic. Now, external ndio hili ya kufocus na watu. Mm -hmm. Internal is you. Putting you first. Yeah. Awa wengine wacha wakai kando. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think you need a very important lesson, especially mm -hmm. for our young ladies. Yeah. And even young men, yes. you get hurt by your friends mm. and you carry that for the rest of your life. You think, sure. oh, I may have done something. You're not the problem. Mm. They are the problem. <laughs> this is not the right way, but they are the problem. Because maybe mm. they, they never really cared. Mm. Maybe they weren't really meant to be your friend. Mm. So you just have to accept that and move on. But now the toss of this situation, mm. kuna wale wana show up to Sayashida. <laughs> Mtu mwenye end month, anakutext, eh, Cheryl, mm. Mm. si nimeka ukiwa suni yoko lethao, nita kurudishia mm. next week. Mm. Through the month, amenyamaza. Mm. End month, tena kifika, ndo uyo. Bills, tunitanga bills. Eh, <laughs> so, you, your friendship, have you experienced that barely? I, I don't think I've, I've had that. What were bills? Since I've been on bills a lot, mm -hmm. I think what we make one up—it's somebody that I understand. 
ni wale mm. tena tunajua yeah. and then at some point labda i am not that friend specific for finances as they when nasimanga kuna specific friends so maybe miss your finances maybe mean your shoulder to lean on so labda si experience you do miss your finances yeah mm, and then we are miss to go and say but one bit like eh kama ameoshwa kidogo hapo amesema shoulder to lean on now ndio baya but anyway mm. uh, Eh hao ni mawapata. Mtu mwenye out of nowhere. Mm. Kwanza ina happening uh, strange mtu anakuwa miku follow mm. for some for, for some time. Ana kutext mambo ya Anthony acha unaweza nisaidie na 2000. I'm I'm your biggest fan. And you genuinely tell them unfortunately I don't have because well you don't okay at the end of the day you can't mm-hmm. touch them. Where's you why, why they, they decided to do that or yeah. they need help. So no you don't have. Sasa hao ndo sasa ukiwaambia hauna. Ah sasa wewe unajifanya wewe uko kwa TV na na wakati na kuomba na hauna pesa. You <laughs> see? It's, it's, it doesn't make sense. Sasa mm. you don't another thing most people unapata mtu akikuitisha pesa mm. uanyime wa na waanze kukuongelesha vibaya wewe umenyima unachukua blame for it. Yeah. Let me tell you something eh? and to you and to the people watching. Mm. Do not ever leave this life being a people pleaser. You can never please anybody. Focus on those people who love you and support you and are there for you. Mm. Leave alone the people who hate. The moment you start focusing on the people you hate and li- and and una, una kosa kuangalia wenye wanakupenda to a point utapata hata wenye wanakupenda wanaenda kwa kuku hate. So focus on those who love you at this moment. Don't focus on those who hate you. Wenye wanaku hate, wenye wako support, wenye wako there for you, wenye they're not ready to grow with you consistently, consistently, wenye wako ready to build that friendship, leave them alone. Focus on those who are close to you. Yeah. 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 And I feel like that also in my letter pia ni nyingine friends who turn into haters mm-hmm. because they're those friends who True. they knew you five years ago mm-hmm. right now they see you popping out and they're like I used to know her alikuwa amechapa so we mm-hmm. will come back and talk <laughs> about these people okay. as well okay. mm-hmm. so I want us to take a very short break alafu tukirudi I want kwanza uende social media yetu Tumuliza how are you differentiating true and false friends? Wewe kweli unajuanga huyu ni fake friend and how do you know you genuine friends? Wewe pia una maintain a different ship yako because as an adult mambo ni mengi, masani machache. <laughs> how are you maintaining your friendships? Mm-hmm. So go on our social media platforms at y254 now to to me comments if you have questions to listen at tutarudi after the break to sample all that. Stay tuned to y254 TV.